Hello my friends, welcome to my YouTube channel, Tutor Med, where everything medicine is simplified. And as usual, my name has not changed. My name is Dr. Obain Frimpong, your tutor. So I have had lots of requests to discuss how MCQs generally should be approached and I want to use this video to address these requests. I believe this video will help us see some of the tricks used when setting MCQ questions and again it will begin a series where we will actually be using these principles I would mention in this video to answer some MCQ questions and so kindly stay tuned. Now I won't say these principles are a hundred percent sure but it is my humble opinion that when attempting MCQs we should pay attention to these two concepts. Whenever you come across any MCQ question, ask yourself, what is the content of the question? And secondly, what is the intent of the question? Now, the content of the question is the English behind the question or the English of the question and is the first step to increasing your chances of getting the question right if it is obeyed. And so you ensure that with your pen, you have read and understood the question. I stress on using your pen or your pencil because oftentimes, due to examination pressure, candidates read questions incompletely or wrongly. Now, once a wrong or an incomplete question has been registered in the brain, the chances that a wrong answer will be shaded is very, very likely. And so please do not rush. First, your duty is to ensure you have read every word in the question. At this point, even if you do not know the answer, it is perfectly fine. Now, after you have satisfied yourself that you are through with the content of the question, in other words, you have read and completely understood the English of the question, your next step is the intent of the question. The intent of the question is the rationale of the question. So the rationale is to be able as a candidate to get what exactly the question is demanding of you. Sometimes, the examiner can be very generous and let his rationale be made known in the question. Oftentimes, you may have to fish out the rationale for yourself. And one of the tools that would make the rationale of the question very easy for the candidate is to summarize the question and that would help you in generating the rationale of the question. And so, in the following slide, we are going to use one question sample to actually illustrate these two concepts one needs to pay attention to when approaching MCQs. And so let's see this question. The question reads, a 67 year old woman presented with a four day history of palpitations and easy fatigability. Her peripheral film shows microcytosis. Which of the following is less likely to explain this finding? A. Pernicious anemia B. Iron deficiency C. Lead poisoning and D. Thalassemia So like I said, you've been given this question and you're expected to know the answer to this question. What I'm saying is, take your time and with your pencil, go through each word in the question. A 67 year old woman, can you picture that patient? Presents to you with a four day history of palpitations and easy fatigability. So in your head, you have someone who has a, a feeling or a sensation of her heart beating even when she's at rest and she gets tired easily when she exerts herself and her peripheral film so here you are, you are trying to understand the content of the question her peripheral film it means that some blood was drawn and was uh, i mean uh, examined under microscopy it showed microcytosis so that tells us that the red cells are actually smaller than they ought to be and we are being asked for the least likely uh, condition to explain this. Is it pernicious anemia? Is it 
iron deficiency anemia is it lead poisoning or thalassemia and so here we have gotten the content of the question we have a woman who presents with sensation of heart beat even when she's at rest and she gets tired easily when she exerts herself blood was drawn and then we see red blood cells which are unusually small so which of the conditions is unlikely to explain what this woman has that is the content of the question we have made sure not to misread the question not to incompletely read the question and be in a haste to answer we are fret and we are fine now we are going to relax and then move to the next step which is the intent of the question very good and so step two understanding the intent of the question we just read now like i said the intent of the question is actually the rationale of the question and what tool did we say we can use to help get the rationale summarize summarize the question and so if you paid attention to the question the question can be summarized into three um, parts one the question said there was a 67 year old woman and so that is an elderly woman two she came with a four-day history of palpitations and easy fatigability that's likely to be anemic symptoms and three the next important thing is that peripheral film showed microcytosis and so the question can be summarized into and this is one thing i think we should learn how to do okay you summarize questions elderly woman plus anemia symptoms plus microcytosis once you you actually try and then summarize things your brain actually sees what is going on in the question so you try that is why even in second cycle education we're taught how to summarize uh, bulky bulky information so once you summarize the bulky information you make your brain actually rest a bit and can think but if you actually do not summarize and the question stem is so long you are trying to figure out it's sometimes very um, tiresome and so to give you an idea of microcytosis this is how it looks like on microscopy you find out that the patient's red blood cells are unusually small and so microcytosis now after you have summarized the question after you have summarized the question elderly woman plus anemia symptoms and microcytosis one other way to get the rationale of the question is actually to reframe or rephrase the question would you agree with me if i told you that this entire question is asking us for the causes of microcytic anemia except that is all this clinical vignette that came as a 67 year old woman with a four day history of palpitations came with uh, easy fatigability took blood samples showed microcytosis the very intelligent students would see and know that oh so the rationale all these plenty talks in this question they are just asking me for causes of microcytic anemia except or microcytic hypochromic anemia except now the causes of microcytic anemia if you have watched our lecture on the full blood count can actually be remembered with the mnemonic tails t-e-i-l-s tails and so t for thalassemia a for anemia of chronic disease i for iron deficiency anemia l for lead poisoning and s for sideroblastic anemia and so this question essentially is asking us they could have just put it straight away that the following are causes of microcytic anemia except that is why initially i mentioned that if we are lucky the examiner may be generous enough to just throw his rationale directly at us but oftentimes we, we may have to find the rationale what exam i mean what exactly the examiner is looking for okay all right good and so going back to the question a 67 year old woman presented with a four day history of palpitations and easy fatigability her peripheral film shows microcytosis which of the following is least or less likely to explain this a pernicious anemia b iron deficiency anemia c lead poisoning d thalassemia from the tails mnemonic you know that the answer is rightly a and so like i said this video will begin a series where we'll use these principles of content and intent to solving or to approaching these mcqs so i trust this video was helpful kindly do not forget to like and share this video subscribe to our channel if you have not done that yet and tell someone about intermed until we meet next time bye